new acquaintances of Glitch Walking to Avian's Adventures, and today we're going to play Amnesia the Dark Descent. And, um, my voice sounds pretty normal right now, thanks to cough drops, but I actually have a flu, so that's always fun. right off where we left off. I can't remember where that was. I think we went to the laboratory. What is shaking? What's shaking why and where? When did the end of return? If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you, I long for a life together. I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and safe return. All right. I still no, I'm not squatting down. Why does everything seem so cool? Alright. I still don't like that this room is shaking. What would happen if I step on this? Would I fall in there? Okay. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. Okay, so is that where I need to go? That didn't work. Alright, I guess I need to go to the wine cellar. I mean, as lovely as, as it's been being here, I gotta go. How do I get out of here? Okay. What's with the flies? Fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought. Just like the ones at the consulate in Constantinople. Turkish delights are yummy! Okay. Sella Vignera. Wine cellar. I've decided this is Latin, by the way. Um, I didn't study Latin, but I do study some of the Romance languages, so I understand it pretty well. You only have to guess meanings. This lock will not open without a key. Oops. Find the key for the wine cellar. Yeah, I figured that's what I need to do. Okay. 
can I will find the key, dude. Also, I'm sorry for just sniffing into the microphone. I know it's disgusting. But I really can't help it right now. Alright. If I was a key... out there. Also, if I was a key, where would I go? I thought I was strong. Daniel just told Daniel that Daniel was strong. <laughs> it was the most complicated sentence I've ever made. Okay, I... I guess I'm not gonna go out from there in the What did you just say? Alright. What's down there? Kinda don't look good. Especially sounds like you're drowning a zebra out there. Archives! Traveling to Dover meant going through Canterbury. You had to make sure to pay a bit visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with neglected family. You're neglecting your family, dude? That's not nice. right. I forgot I could go insane. Prayer books. That way I can put this away. I don't want to use up my oil because I don't know how long it will last. Bring it closer to my eyes. It looks like it's in Greek. On the 16th of May, 1839, the unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Ah, oh, that's so cool. But also, um, you must really not like this dude if you're calling him an Herbert. What's this? That's really cool looking. I need to get better at my controls, by the way. 